Mattia, uh, she don't practice Santeria. She don't like black magic, and I'll tell you why. Now she gets her magic from her daddy in the sky. And dad is talking to me. For those of you that know, don't know what I'm talking about, dad, I'm talking about the, the Lord. As you know, my ministry is in the paranormal and supernatural area. And I have so many different experiences that if I share with you, we'll be talking all of the time. So I don't. I just share what the Lord puts on my heart to share. Dad is talking to her with his voice from up above. Said, tell him about them nasty demons that you can't get rid of. Uh. I was getting up for prayer, as I, as I usually do in the wee hours of the morning. I'm praying all the time, but I'm specifically talking about this particular day, um, probably two days ago. And the Spirit of the Lord woke me up and said, you know, come on, let's go pray. And, and I love when he does that. But when I went to, to sit up, you know, to get ready to get off my bed to leave, there was a demon that just launched at me like with a raw type of thing. I'm talking about boob before she had her coffee. For me, it was just a simple lunge where he tried to attack to put fear in me to make me not go into prayer, uh, which wasn't going to work because I'm used to them and because the Holy Spirit is with me. Mattia wanted to pray, but the demon said no way. But Mattia kept on praying anyway. Problem solved. Uh. Another thing that happened um, last week is that uh, I was getting ready to to go in my office and work on some some stuff for the Lord, and there was a demon standing in my doorway just with his arms blocked, just blocking the doorway. And I'm sitting there looking at him. Mattia stared the demon down until he went away. Her house was like one big ghost town until she started to pray. Um, I just wanted to share those two little examples. Like I said, um, I just wanted to, sh to share that, you know, daddy put it on my heart to share so that people don't get discouraged when they just don't never finish that book that God has asked them to do over and over. There are demonic forces that are assigned <laughs> to stop you from walking in your purpose, to stop you from walking in the perfect will of God and from being obedient as well. Whenever she feels lazy, there's a demon she can see. Demons are the perfect excuse for negative feelings. And demons will come and they can do stuff to your computer and, and there's people that will astral project and they, that's when they leave their body and they go out and do certain things. And they can type up, and I've seen it personally, a vampire, let me give you an example of a vampire that I had known. Beyond vampires. My computer doesn't need a bloodborne virus. And uh, I wasn't a vampire, but I knew him and I was fond of him. Our darkness, you know, we both were in darkness, so there was some kind of uh, similarity in our walk. So we, we got along really good, me and his vampire. She made love to a vampire. That's right, I said a vampire, like with fangs and all that. And he seemed all right. And one day, I was sitting in my bed and I was just laying there, relaxing and reading. And my son, and, and I see this vampire and I, I'm looking right at him. He actually projects, he comes through my, into my bedroom walks over to my computer, begins to do some stuff, and I'm watching my files go up. And I'm looking at this like, wow, what is he looking for? There was really nothing to find in there. I really wasn't working on anything. 
but he was digging in my stuff and he was really good at computers and you know he didn't see what he wanted and I mean he was speeding through it really really good at what he was doing why does a vampire need a computer file I don't get it maybe he was googling a blood bank and, and so I'm looking at this guy and you know he, he goes on back out but there are people that have the ability to astral project these, these people are able to leave their bodies and go in the natural in the spirit they will leave but in the natural they will mess with your stuff so begin to pray over your computer if you're working on something for the lord begin to pray over your mind please the blood of jesus this is nothing spooky nothing scary i'm telling you what i know i'm very familiar with these spirits i was um in relationship with a lot of um these spirits so this was a part of my life for a very long time so i know what they do how does a cold-blooded vampire get an erection i'm just saying but I just want you to stay encouraged. Also, pray over your equipment. The enemy is so busy. He, he's able to do a lot. He's able to do a lot. So I think we just walk around and we just don't think that he's that powerful. He is that powerful. But you are powerful. Because the word of God says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I feel good knowing my computer is safe from vampires. Cause I prayed a lot. Yeah. It's because there are um, demonic forces that attack you, that, that attack you to try to stop you from praying. So I just wanted to share that. If you're ever in a situation and you're looking um, forward to going to prayer and the Holy Spirit taps you and says, come on, daughter, come on, son, let's go and pray. And then you just turn over. That is the reason why I just wanted to share that with you. Watch out. Don't you let those pesky little demons make you lazy.